lasers burning through metal, futuristic cannons and blasters destroying anything on the spot, and other similar technology look like the fantasies of brave authors. But what if I told you that we're getting closer and closer every day to a time when those weapons will become mundane? Moreover, China recently hit an American plane with a laser weapon. News like that can't be baseless. What can modern development show us? Military vehicles and fighters armed with powerful lasers, AA systems that have massive ranges and can instantly shoot down incoming fire, real space satellites that can burn a hole to the planet's core. Hmm. Fine, that last one isn't quite real, but the rest are. And I'll show you all of them very, very soon. First, let's take a look at what a laser is. The word is actually an abbreviation that stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. How can light be so destructive? It's due to light combining where several exiting beams combine into one powerful energy flow. Remember a prism that splits white light into a rainbow? Powerful lasers do this in reverse and combine all the colors and electromagnetic energy into one. A striking example of this wonderful technology is the American powerful 300 kilowatt station. It's a breakthrough in the field of anti-air, anti-missile defense that's necessary to support the army in war of next-generation threats like hypersonic missiles from China and Russia. This system is 10 times more powerful than ones installed on planes. It's capable of heating a target and disabling its electronics as well as melting metal. A flying plane will gradually turn into a falling metal lump if it's in range of this super cannon for long enough this laser was developed by Lockheed Martin, and those guys know something about creating breakthroughs in weapons technologies. While this powerful system is still being developed, the U.S. Army just showed the world yesterday its first fully battle-ready laser weapon. And that's not a rumor. America has been looking at targeted laser technology for quite some time. A similar cannon was installed on the Stryker vehicle that's already passed its first tests. It's the first combat use of similar developments for the infantry since only planes and ships could be seen with these blasters before. During testing, they installed two 50-kilowatt models. They were made by the well-known companies Northrop Grumman and Raytheon to demonstrate close-range anti-air defense. You'll be surprised, but the first test was a success. It was able to shoot down missiles as well as drones. The striker can heat up its target and also can disable all its internal electronics as well as burn a hole through its frame and blow up the enemy inside. Real fireworks! Once intended for science fiction, laser weapons have now become a reality that'll deal a heavy blow as soon as they enter the battlefield. These developments were motivated as a response to the sharp development of combat drones that normal AA can't destroy. They aren't fast enough or accurate enough and a shot may be more expensive than the target. So the striker becomes very attractive. First, their accuracy and reaction speed are much greater, a matter of milliseconds if the system's charged. Second, the cost of a single shot often isn't over $1,000. By late 2022, the U.S. Army aims to have four striker divisions organized, but others are working on similar systems too. China is testing its first laser weapon and not on artificial targets, they're using American planes. A PA-8 Poseidon recon plane belonging to the U.S. Army was flying over the Pacific Ocean and was hit by laser weapons. The Pentagon said the attack came from a Chinese destroyer. American soldiers have something to worry about. They said the laser could potentially inflict significant damage to the plane's crew or to the sailors as well as to a ship or plane systems. Additionally, the laser itself wasn't visually seen by anyone. It was not in the visible light spectrum. Nevertheless, special sensors installed on the plane detected it. It's possible since China has similar technology and the laser weapons might operate in the visible light spectrum or otherwise. The first option creates a very bright beam and is used to destroy optical equipment and blow up the target from the inside. An invisible beam is designed to scan and disable radioelectric equipment. The advantages of the second are obvious. It can only be located using special equipment, but it can easily locate aircraft and accurately determine their speeds and locations. Another quality that would be better to keep quiet about is there's a spectrum of light that affects the human body and primarily the brain. 
A person hit by that kind of laser unprepared would lose bodily control and fall into a temporary coma after some time. That's a guaranteed catastrophe for pilots. If China is intentionally using that technology or not remains unanswered. But it's known that the Chinese army has technology like that, and all that's left is to wait for the official presentation. Israel took a different path and demonstrated its iron beam. It's a new system for anti-missile defense that successfully intercepted mortar fire, missiles, and anti-tank rounds during testing. What makes this system stand apart is that it isn't so much a weapon as it's an additional to standard anti-air defenses like the Iron Dome. The integration boosts the defense efficiency 10 times. It might sound like science fiction, but it's real. Shots from the Iron Beam are silent, invisible, and cost about $3. That's the current cheapest price per shot. Machine gun rounds are more expensive, and this is a real blaster. Of course, there aren't many details on this development, but we were able to learn that it'll be used on land as well as in the air and at sea. Israel's goal is to install laser systems along the borders over the next decade to create an impenetrable defensive wall. The American military also decided to create offensive laser systems in addition to defensive ones. The boys from Lockheed Martin worked hard on creating a combined combat and scout system. This ambitious plan was successfully brought to life and is called Layered Laser Defense. This system can be counter drones, planes, and even rapid boats using a powerful laser and can also use its telescope with a high resolution to monitor and evaluate a target's combat damage. During testing, the ground-based system followed an airborne drone and shot it with a high-energy laser, invisible to the naked eye. One hit and the target will open their parachute. The LLD system capabilities range from non-lethal optical blinding and sensor deactivation to the complete destruction of a target. There are plans to mount similar systems on large ships, but there's also the option to use them on planes. There's a huge positive since lasers don't use any ammo or explosives, which is a safety boost for the crew. Of course, other countries don't plan to fall behind the rapidly growing U.S. Army and are gradually developing their own versions of laser technology. Russia isn't worried in the slightest about using its miracle weapon in a real war. The government officially announced the use of next-gen powerful lasers in Ukraine to burn drones. This is motivated by the resistance to the influx of weapons from Ukraine's allies. Naturally, attacks from Bayraktars and switchblades have shown their results. Moscow understood the threat and took their most advanced defensive developments out of storage. Putin mentioned one by the name Parisvet. There's not much known about its specifications. The system and its improved analogs can burn drones and other equipment in a matter of seconds at a distance of up to six miles. They can even blind satellites at an altitude up to 930 miles above the Earth. The use of lasers to blind satellites was once just science fiction, but the US, China, and Russia have been working on this technology for many years. Besides burning drones and blinding satellites, the systems also have a strategic significance since satellites are used to monitor ICBMs that carry nuclear payloads. And that's not all. The Pentagon is currently developing satellite lasers for space war outside the Earth's atmosphere. These systems could blind targets moving at the speed of light and may be capable of destroying entire enemy bases on land in the future. Of course, these results haven't been obtained yet, but the first drawings exist. The military already learned to use space cannons that target energy as an important tool to instantly send a huge volume of data to the ground. Laser optics and photonics provide super-fast information transfer using targeted beams. Now they just need to make that technology combat-ready, and then creating a Death Star will be just over the horizon. Who knows, maybe we'll see real space battles soon with our own eyes. It'd be better for wars to be in space than on the Earth. This is where the video comes to an end. Thank you for watching this whole time. Leave your likes or dislikes below the video so I know if you do or do not want more of this type of content. Make sure to leave a comment on what you saw today as well. Have a good day, and until next time.